This episode of Soon By You is brought to you by JScreen. Knowledge is a powerful thing. For many people, JScreen provides peace of mind. And even if you learn you are at risk, there are many options for a healthy family. Get JScreen today and let JScreen help you plan for your future. I'm so glad you crashed my cousin's wedding. I haven't been able to stop thinking about you since that night at the craft store. Me too. I knew we couldn't let it end that way. Do you want to get out of here? Go somewhere quiet, you can be charming, and I can <laughs> laugh at all your jokes? Yes. Yes, a thousand times, yes. Hey, you ready? Um, yes, yes, let's do this. Cool. Thanks for letting me tag along. Never crashed a wedding before. What? No, no. I, you said you knew how to do this. No, it's cool. I saw the movie. Wedding Crashers? Princess Bride. Princess Bride. Yeah. Let's go get Buttercup. As you wish. Nice. Here you are, Mr. and Mrs. Solomon, table two. Enjoy the wedding. Mazel tov. Oh, shoot. Shoot, shoot, shoot. What do we do? Oh, I got this. Just a, give, me a, give me a name. Give me a random name. Welcome. Can I have your name? Mark. Markowitz. Oh, here you go. Mr. and Mrs. Mark Markowitz? Oh, that's a typo. That should be uh, Mr. and Mr. Mark Markowitz. Sorry, oh, I'm um, table 11. Uh, which one of you is Mark? I am. Ah, oh, good for you. Bye. Oh. So, who do you know at this wedding? I'm getting to know you. So I'm pretty okay, happy about that. Right? <laughs> what about you? Hey, Ben, hold. Okay. You're a bridesmaid, huh? Mm hmm Well, you look. Hold it higher. Yeah. Great. What? Uh, I was saying from before, you look. Can I get my bridesmaids back? Beautiful. You look beautiful. Thank you, ladies, that's all. What? What do you mean, that's all? Oh, hi, Noah! I'm here! Hey, you found me! Oh, I'm sorry guys, I have to go. My bestie needs me. Hi. hi. I'll walk you in so you don't have to go alone. Thanks. And Abby's all like, what are you trying about to come? That's where I met Yoni. And I'm like, don't tell me what to do. Yeah, I mean, I basically live on Shabbat to come. Speaking of which, we have to take a ton of pictures. Did you just take a million pictures Ooh, with the- Get one with me and the flowers. Ooh, Noah. Girl, oh, so oh. nice to see you. We're so happy for Abby. So happy. Make sure you get a good look at the ketubah for when it's your turn. <gasps> Here, ketubah.com. Thank you. Super you. And so it begins. New drinking game. Soon by you. Soon by you. Soon by you.
soon by you. No, no, no. Soon by you. Yes, Jean Bobby. Well, you know, my roommate was getting kind of annoying, so this seems like the next best solution. The Karovet Slay. Soon by you! Who sent you? Soon by you! Soon, 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 Karovet Slay. Soon, 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 yes, Jean Bobby. By you! By you! Soon by you. Any day now, we'll be at your wedding. Good to see you, Sylvia. God, that must be exhausting, everyone wishing you well like that. Thank you, Aunt Sylvia. Yes, it is. What? Are you somehow less than because you don't have a husband? I've had one, I'm telling you. It's not that special. <laughs> you know, people keep coming up to me and not one person has asked me anything other than, are you seeing anyone? There's other stuff about me. There certainly is. So tell me, my dear, what are you doing these days? I'm painting. I'm an artist. And you could make a living like that? <laughs> oh, I've seen her around. Cute. She with you? Who, Jacobs? No. No, I, I don't know if she'd... I mean, we, we flirt and all, but uh, what's the rush, right? It's, it's, it's cool, we're having fun, I'm fine. Okay. My good sir, a shot of your finest whiskey. And one for my friend here. Give you ginger ale. And ginger ale will have to do on this, the day of my greatest heartbreak. All I ask is that you pay me back. It's a free bar. By drinking with me to my one true love, the woman that got away. Abby Goldberg. The bride? Don't remind me. Another. Sarah, no. Sarah, no. Sarah, come on, Z. Sarah, no. David, what are you doing? Uh, well, I haven't found Sarah yet, but I did find these amazing lamb sliders. No, 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 we weren't invited. The food's not for us. No, no, I know, but I think That's figured... stealing. I was really counting on these. You're a rabbi. I'm so hungry. Let me feed you. What? Miss or not? I, rabbi, need to find a rabbi. You're a rabbi, yes? Huh? No, I'm the caterer. Schnitzel. I'm a rabbi. Always, always in the box they put me. Always. She was my babysitter for years. All those hours spent together. I never told her how I felt. And now look at me. Rock bottom. Another. Yeah, that's uh, that's rough. Sure, you flirt with her. Think you can take your time. What's the rush? Before you know it, someone else comes along and steals her. Leave the bottle. I just wish I'd said something to her when I had the chance. Yeah, uh, I, I should go. Thanks. Of course, you could say no. You bare your soul, and she leaves you there. Show the man you once were. Scared. Lost. Alone. Hey! Hey. Hey. Uh, hey, you, uh, you seen Sarah? Feldman? Yeah, she's over there. Oh. Great, thanks. Go get her, brother. Go get her. Let me guess, let me guess. Tamagotchi died? Been there. Pocket cereal? Are you a rabbi? No. Are you a rabbi? No. Are you a rabbi? No, sorry, bro. No. Is there a rabbi here? Is there a doctor here? Yeah, is everybody right, you're right? Shoshana just had her third Kanainahara. Soon by you, dear, soon by you. What, no soon by me? Don't you want to dance at my wedding? <laughs> <laughs> Too easy. Hi. David. How's it going? Hi, nice to meet you. I'm David. And? What are you doing here? Uh, Hi, are you a rabbi? Uh, yeah. 
I came to talk to you. At my cousin's wedding. Listen, the Basada Kedushin had a family emergency. Can you do the wedding? Hold on, okay? We, we, we crashed the wedding. New Rabbi, you can do the wedding. I, I, I guess, I mean, I, I know how. Okay, good, come on. Uh, just wait. You're doing the wedding? Yes, he's doing the wedding. Is the couple signing Halakha Karina? I don't know. Find out! Uh, sure. We're going. Come on! Wait, no, sir, sir, I want to talk to you. It's why I'm here. It's not why I'm here. This is my favorite part. My friend Natara got a bracha from a bride once and she got married the next day. Okay, you need to chill. You are not defined by your marital status. I'm telling you, it's like magical. What you wish? Why don't you just focus on enjoying the wedding and having fun with your friends? What are you talking about? I'm having so much fun. Uh-huh. Mazel tov. Mazel? What's the wedding hashtag? Thank you so much for coming. May you both be blessed with happiness and only revealed good. Revealed good. And Sarah, as one of my bridesmaids, I want to give you my ring to hold while I walk down. Oh, wow, it's so shiny. Uh -huh. <laughs> but wait, where's my bracha at? She just gave us the bracha. What? Oh, no, 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 no. Happiness? Oh, no. A husband. What kind of way of blessing is happiness? You're supposed to say, may you find the right one in the right time, which is now. Now, I should find him oh. now. What are you doing? Ugh, what a rip off. But at least I got some bling. Maybe I should hold that for you. Don't touch my ring. Oh God. Hey, <clears throat> can I have some of this? Sure. Anyone invited to the wedding can have anything. What about the rabbi? The rabbi? No, not the rabbi. Well, what's wrong with the rabbi? He's cute. Look at him. He's not eating anything. But Sarah's going to marry him. I'm going to have him over for Shabbos dinner. He's not going to eat anything. He's working. I'm sure he eats. No, 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 no. You're, you're right. He, he's too skinny. Yeah, people used to say that about me. Maybe skinny isn't so bad. <laughs> oh, great. Rabbi. Hey, Rabbi. Oh, this is the halachic prenup. Oh. Oh, good. Yeah, this. This is an expression of your love and respect for one another, that you want to protect each other, even if it's from your own worst instincts. Yeah, I know. These two are the witnesses, and this is my uncle. He's a notary. Avi, we're ready. Abby's already signed it. Yoni's turn. Uh, you know, according to the Oro website, it's it's really better if you do this all in advance. This is kind of last minute. Is there a problem? No. No, no, no. I'm just saying, uh, for next time. Next time? Oh, no, I didn't mean, um, or for you, um, uh, when, when you one day, are, are you married? Are you seeing anyone? Uh, maybe we or... should just do the signing. Um, Avi, would you? Okay, everyone. Abby and Yoni are, are proud to share the fact that they are signing the halachic prenup today. As you know, this legal document only comes into effect if, unfortunately, things don't work out and one party is being uncooperative in the Jewish divorce process. Now, obviously, they don't intend to need the prenup. Nobody intends to need it, but let's face it. If you can't talk to each other about the fact that things may go wrong, you shouldn't be getting married. If we make the halachic prenup the norm in Jewish marriages, no one will get stuck in a dead marriage. Are you single? I have a niece, her daughter. We think you could get along, maybe start a family. She's very attractive. Her name is Sarah and she's a graphic designer. Actually, she's an artist. Excuse me. Mazel tov. Thank you. It's so good to see you. Hey, Sarah. Look, clearly I caught you off guard before. I'm sorry about that. David, this is my cousin's wedding. I don't want to have to think about... Where's the rabbi? I'm in the bathroom. You clearly have a lot to do in all saving the day, so... The saving the day doesn't make you want to talk to me? Look, this suit just went from being wedding clothes to a rabbi uniform. I'm a man in uniform. That's great. Don't ever leave me with a rando like that again, you hear me? Sorry. 
Rabbi, did you find out about the prenup? Yes, uh, they're doing it now, actually. Just waiting for me, I think. So go in there. You should go. Look, I, I really think we should talk. Not today. Why not? I'm here, you're here. I told you I needed more time. I meant it. I mean what I say. I like him. <laughs> so, I never knew you were so passionate about the prenup. You have certain experiences, you learn what's important. Oh, you're saying, what are you saying? Back in the 70s, there was no aura. Mm. This prenup thing didn't exist, so when my ex, Morris, didn't want to give me a divorce, I was stuck. Stuck? No term Aguna. Sure. Well, that was me. For 10 years, I couldn't move on with my life. I couldn't get remarried. I couldn't, let me put it this way. If I'd had a halak prenup, you'd probably have more cousins. Wow, I, I'm so, you don't think Yoni would? Of course not. I didn't think Morris would either. He was sweet, he made me laugh. You think you know a guy and then, surprise. Listen closely. I need you to teach me how to do a Snapchat. Hey, look, I, uh, I know that we've been flirting a lot, and keeping it fun and casual, but you should know that I want to, um, I mean, I, I, I want us to, uh, Okay, great. No, no, that was good. I just would definitely finish the end of the sentence otherwise. You see what I did there? This is so weird. You know what it is? Talking to a screen is throwing you off. Here, pretend I'm Jacobs. Okay. Hey, look, I like you. <laughs> I like you too. Mr. Markowitz! No, it's not what it looks like. Mm -hmm. Please don't tell Mark. <laughs> what? Don't worry about it. Go again. This is a stupid. It is a stupid idea. It's not stupid if you know what you're doing. Name's Eliza. Oh my gosh. Eliza Ventula, we loved your book. Can you sign it? So, sounds like you're having trouble expressing yourself. I'm fine. No, he's not. It's like listening to the whimpered beeping of a Tamagotchi's slow but inevitable march towards death. Chi Chi's going through some stuff. Okay, here's the deal. If I help you get married, you name your first child after me. What, what if it's a boy? It won't be. <laughs> I'm kidding, guys. I'm here to help. You, tell me everything. You two? Yes. Anything I can do to help them get together, I'm in. What can I do? Leave. Got it. You know, I don't even care anymore. Who even wants to be married anyway? I don't want to live with someone all the time, in my way, in my stuff. No, thank you. You live with me now. Oh, yeah. But you're so small, it doesn't count. Yeah, I think we need to get you a cup of coffee. <sighs> you know, for so long, all I wanted was one of these. But seriously, what's even so great about it? Oh, no, no, don't do that. Oh, oh it's so pretty on me. Hey. Hey, I was just talking about you. Great. No! You're not supposed to be with anyone! What? You're supposed to be single until... Uh, further notice. Oh. Uh, she's very single. The ring isn't hers. It's not? No! She doesn't have anyone? No one! Oh, thank God. I'm so happy you're alone. All's right in the world. Hey, Z, I think you need to go. Oh, man, I just... I just got here. I thought we were gonna hang out. I'll go with you. What? I'll be back in two minutes. Ten. Five. Oh, okay. I'll be back with cookies. Okay. Chocolate ones. <sighs> Weddings are so stupid. Muscle tongue. But you're not usually tongue tied, are you? <laughs> yeah. No. I. uh... No. 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 Never. What's different about this time? I guess it's uh. You know how you have all these button downs in your closet and they're all nice, but there is this one button down that you feel connected to more than the rest. And every time you go to your closet, you find yourself focusing on that and ignoring the rest of the button downs. And fine, shoes. 
So she's special? <laughs> yeah. Okay. Sounds like you like this woman more than you're used to, and you're scared. I wouldn't say scared. Maybe, maybe concerned. Are you concerned she might say no? Ben, fear of rejection is completely normal, especially when it's someone that you really like. But like I always say, when you have nothing, you've got nothing to lose. Yeah, it's, it's Bob Dylan, right? No, that was me. I made that up. Look, from what you told me, sounds like Jacobs will probably say yes. You think so? What do you think? There you go. Now go. Find her. Be your charming, confident self. Yeah. All right, thanks. You're very welcome. thing like in the movies, speak now to stop the wedding? No, not at a Jewish wedding. Then when am I gonna say my thing? Ugh. There you are. Here I am. I caught a glimpse of dessert. It's your favorite, chocolate lava cake with vanilla ice cream. Oh. I could take more pictures of you. Okay, right now? Maybe not. I'm so done. Okay, let me just sneak some dessert and then we'll go. No, I mean, I'm done. Weddings, dating, I just can't anymore. I know you think I'm stupid for caring so much. I don't think you're stupid. And hey, you'll meet the right person. <laughs> At the right time, yeah, yeah, I know. Just tired of trying so hard. I mean, last week I was so desperate I went out with someone who didn't even freaking speak English. <laughs> who does that? And do you know I've been on 27 first dates in the past six months and zero second ones? 27. Zero. And now Abby's my last close friend to get married and I'm just sitting here like, hello, God, what about me? <laughs> I'm your close friend. I mean, friends who want to get married. But guys are drawn to you. I've seen it. You're always flirting. Nothing real ever. You want me to give that back to Abby for you? No, I'm going to take it home. Uh. It's probably the only time I get to wear one of these. Stop it. You're going to find someone. How do you know? And that's the ring. Next is um, Ketuba. Ketuba. Thank you. Uh, here we have the. Uh, whoa, this is beautiful. Have, uh, have you all seen this? It's actually funny, people, people dress this up a lot, but it's, it's actually a legal contract specifying that this marriage involves the, the transfer of money and property, which is um, <clears throat> uh, really romantic. Um, Sorry. You know, it just says here that before the ketubah, the Masada Kedushin, will say a few words about the chasen and the kala. <clears throat> uh, there's an idea that 
before a soul comes into this world, a voice calls out from heaven, naming their zivug, their soulmate. When those two souls find each other, it is nothing short of miraculous, which is why we're here today, celebrating uh, Yoni. Yoni and Gabby. Abby. Abby and Gabby. Yoni and Abby. Yoni and Abby, uh, who are, you know, great. They're, uh, they're great. They're, they're a great uh, couple of them. A, a marriage, uh, marriage is uh, uh, also a great, probably. I don't know, I'm not uh, married, uh, but I can imagine. Um, maybe uh, when you first met, uh, it felt like a big mix-up at the time. And, uh, I love the story. You sat at the wrong table, but it was the right table. And maybe you lost her number. Hey, have you seen that bridesmaid? The, the one from before? We had like a whole thing by your bar about how to talk to her. You don't remember. Of course I remember. You were like the best part of my day. You didn't even care that you got paint all over your shirt. You were having so much fun that uh, you didn't realize that you weren't listening. Uh, she means what she says and and you want to hear what she has to say because, because she's smart and, and, and creative and uh, she makes you laugh and you do anything to, to keep being around her. So... Uh, Ask already! Yeah, what? Hmm? You're clearly about to propose to someone. Just ask her the question. Propose? No, I wasn't... Um, actually, it's funny. We've only, we've only been on one date, so... One date? You made a big gesture after one date? Hey, if my friend wants to propose after one date, we should let him. Go ahead, Bubbala. Uh, uh, well, um, uh, Sarah, I, uh... No! Sarah, I don't know who that clown is, but you shouldn't marry him. I love you. I always have. Sarah, will you marry me? Oh, Michael, of course I will. She said yes. That is Mazel tov. Okay, I say we move on now. Actually, uh, I, you know what, I, I do want to say one more. My good people, I must protest. Abby. Enough! This is a wedding, and some of us are starving. Not all of us got to eat before the lamb sliders ran out, okay? Marry them already. Yeah, uh, of course, sorry. Where, uh, where were we? <clears throat> Ketuba, I guess? Who's in there? Have you seen Jacob? Is she in there? It's not the time, Ben. I need to talk to her. Whatever it is, she doesn't need to hear it right now, okay? Waiting for you by the lake. You ready? Did you talk to Sarah? No, this was a bad idea. I misjudged. No, dude, she was looking for you. Hey. There you are. Stand up straight. You got this. Hey. I'm just waiting for Z. Crasher's out. That speech you gave was... A smashing success? It was going to say long. Did you ever get that paint off your shirt? No. Still there. You? Not yet. You, uh, wanted to talk to me? Yeah, uh... 
I don't... I don't really know what I was going to say, actually. Then I'll start. I'm so used to going out with guys who just don't get me. They don't get my sense of humor. They don't get my whole artist thing. And you came along and you got me. We got each other. But then you just wouldn't hear how I felt about Aliyah and suddenly you were just another guy. And I told you I needed time, but you showed up here anyway. It's like you didn't believe me. Look, I don't, I don't care that you don't see yourself living in Israel right now. I mean, I do care, but it was never about that. We have time for that. We can talk about it and figure it out, or maybe break up about it later. But if you couldn't hear me, there wasn't gonna be a later. I, I know, and I agree. The way I saw it, accepting that you're as serious as you say about Aliyah when I'm not meant that we're over. And I didn't want it to end, so I didn't accept it. But I, I have since realized that not taking what you say seriously is a much quicker way to end it. Which clearly you knew all along, so. Look, I. I still don't want this to end. Me too. So break up later? Do we, uh... Do we set a date, or...? How's June? It's great. I'll get to work on finding a venue. I did want to tell you. Yes. Your rabbi uniform? <clears throat> totally working for me. <laughs> Is that so? Seems to be working for me too. What do you mean? Oh, I'm pretty sure this suit is the only reason that I'm at a lake right now with a beautiful woman. So tell me something else. Like what? Everything. You've just watched the season one finale of Soon By You. We wanted to tell you a little bit about What? The, wait, wait, wait. What does he mean by everything? How could they end it like this? I can't. We wanted to tell you a little this bit about This is crazy. Uh, I need to send this to my friend and see what she thinks. Let me know what you think. Anyway, while you're here, we thought we'd tell you about some of the amazing products and services featured in this episode. You may not have noticed. We were very subtle. That's what everyone tells us. <laughs> First of all, we had a blast filming at Congregation Anche Chesed in Linden, New Jersey. We completely took over the place. Thanks to Rabbi Joshua Hest and Eitan Yadlevker for making it happen, and for all the community members that came out as extras. And really, check out their site. It's a warm, family-friendly community with an easy commute to the city. We were thrilled to feature ORA, an organization committed to solving the Aguna crisis through the halachic prenup. You might have caught a few references throughout the episode. It's a couple signing halachic prenup. I never knew you were so passionate about the prenup. They are signing the halachic prenup. Just a few references. It's super important. Before you get married, make sure to visit their site and sign your own halachic prenup. If you're watching closely, you may have also seen. Name's Eliza. She's real! That is really Aliza Ben Shalom. She's a dating coach who works with clients all over the world and she's available for coaching services. Not only that, but... We loved your book. Can you sign it? The book is real! And it's here! Get Real, Get Married is available on Amazon. Yeah, unlike in our episode, it's unlikely that she'll just appear and offer advice when you need it. Not impossible, unlikely. So check out her site. While we're at it, here's another real human being. Azamra DJ made our tiny fake wedding feel like a big real one. And he's available for booking. Not everything in our show is about dating. Next is um, Ketuba. Thank you, David. The beautiful Ketuba you saw is from Ketuba.com. They've got so many gorgeous options for all kinds of weddings. Check them out. Even if you're not planning a wedding, they're really nice. Speaking of beautiful, hosted international. Oh, let's try that one. Okay. Yeah. I'll, I'll start. start. I'll say, hosted international. 
Hostess International provided the beautiful flowers and decor that you saw at our wedding. They are incredible decorators and event planners. You can learn more about their services on their site in the link below. Many of the gowns you saw in this episode were loaned to us by Gaungemach in Brooklyn. We had way too much fun picking these out. You've got to go. Those scrumptious looking treats you saw on the tables all came from World of Chantilly. They're gorgeous and delicious, and they make for a great snack while you're shooting an episode. What? You ate those during the shoot? Uh, no. Danny, we kept needing a reset because props went missing. Did we mention the bridal gown? No. The beautiful wedding gown came from Custom Bridal, and the beautiful wedding cake was made by Gila Romanoff. And that ring, oh, that stunning ring. The ring came from Egal Nissan from the Diamond Deal. By the way, you should probably return the ring. I don't know what you're talking about. At this point, we what finished shooting the episode weeks ago. Oh. Leia, I know it's pretty, but you have to give it back. Finally. Shabbat.com, the perfect place to connect with Jews from all over the world. You can find a date, you can find a Shabbat meal, or you could just find someone to connect with over how much you love our show. Find the links to their site, as well as links to all of the amazing products and services in the description below. Now, on to season two. Season two, yes, okay, here we go. Um, we open on, we open on, a, uh, we open on a dystopian New York City, the year 3023, and the resistance is finally gaining ground under the leader, who would have thunk, a wizened but still optimistic Z. Sometimes it's just best to let him get out of the system. Thanks for watching, and we'll see you soon. Oh, I could have sworn that video was longer before, but you finished. Good for you. Okay. Uh, make sure to click on our logo below to subscribe. And uh, there's some more Soon By You stuff over here to check out. Uh, you can watch this one or this one, but there's this one. So it's your call.